Hi, this is Marie from Second Time Tech, and today I'm going to be making a video just to test out my system because I've been moving some stuff around and I've been changing components on my computer and I just want to make sure everything is working properly because of what happened last week. So uh, I'm going to make a video right now. The first take, I thought I would make a short video. But then after I was done, which took me 18 minutes long, I came back and realized I was on mute on my microphone for the uh, whole time. So I had no good audio. So here we go again. Anyway, for today... I uh, just wanted to uh, say that I uh, moved a few things around in the studio. And like I said, I uh, changed some components in the computer. It now has the uh, R7-1700 in it, and it has the, uh, the Corsair uh, LPX 3600 MHz uh, BDI memory in it right now. So uh, everything seems to be working good. Uh, the I tested the audio a little bit ago, and it seemed to be working fine. So this is just a check to see if everything's working, like I had said a minute ago. But I am going to post it, just so that, because I've been behind so many times, and I've got a few things to talk about. So the biggest thing that uh, I want to uh, talk about is a uh, computer system that uh, I checked out the components of uh, online uh, this morning. And uh, they're all on Amazon.ca or Amazon Canada. So it's in, all in Canadian prices. But I will put them in the show notes and I'll put them on Amazon Canada and on Amazon US. And uh, But the Canadian price for the whole system minus keyboard, mouse, and monitor is less than $650. And it's decent, and it's upgradable. So I will get to that in a little bit. The first thing I wanted to talk about was I uh, had said earlier that uh, I wanted to have a second camera so I could do either what's called a B-roll uh, or to have a camera over in my work area and uh, so 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 that you could see like like what I was doing over there instead of having to switch the cameras around all the time. And I thought, well, I'll see what I can find what I have because I've got a few older cameras. And uh, I found this, and this is a HP PhotoSmart R818. Uh, it works great for a 5.1 megapixel camera, but it's only VGA when it comes to video. So therefore, uh, it's not going to be that good because it's only the uh, 4 by 3 ratio. So that means that you're going to have the black bars on the sides, and I really didn't want to do that. And I was sitting there thinking, and a message came in on uh, Messenger, and I grabbed my phone, and I picked it up, and I was doing the stuff, and I was answering them, and all that sort of good stuff, and then I went, wait a minute, this is what I used when I first started. I still had 1080p, but it was only 30 frames, just like I have now. 30 frames per second. Now, I still have my adapter that holds it. The only thing I need to do is buy myself one of those arms or another tripod. But I really want to get an arm to be able to hold it in different spots and whatnot. Because I've got a window just above it and I can connect uh, the arm up to it and be able to uh, move it around the way I want. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find myself an arm, connect that to it, use my uh, phone as my uh, 
second camera until I can afford to get myself another camera. But I will have to stick with the 30 frames. Sorry, I won't be able to go up to 60, but there you go. So, like I said, this is a complete tower. And it's everything in it that you need for a starting gaming system. And like I said, then all you have to do is drop in a video card later. Whatever you want, it'll it'll take just about anything. Um, it should be fine for a 1080, maybe even a 1080 Ti if you want. Bit overkill for the system I'm talking about. But uh, maybe a 1070, that would be good, or a 1070 Ti. I'd say that's probably going to be your best bet on it. Uh, so it doesn't cost like an arm and a leg for them. Or even, um, I think the lowest I'd go would be a GTX 1066 gigabyte. Uh, those are a little bit faster than the three gigabyte ones. Um, I think that's about as low as I would go. But like I say, you can put anything you want in it. Um, um, AMD RX 580, four gig or eight gig. Um, doesn't uh, matter. It, it, it'll run fine on those. Now, the first thing that uh, I found was the CPU. And I looked around and I checked things and whatnot. And the least expensive thing, of course, is the Ryzen 5 2400G. That will give you um, four cores and hyper-threading, so you get eight cores out of it. And that seems to be the best thing that you want right now is eight cores. The thing with getting Intel is you wouldn't get very good um, uh, built-in graphics or onboard graphics. So I would stick with the, with the, uh, the AMD, uh, the 2400, because you do get better graphics with it. And then whenever you upgrade, you still have the better CPU rather than the 2200, like the, the R3 2200, uh, because you don't get hyper-threading with that one. Now, the, uh, the R5 uh, 1400 is almost exactly the same price as the R5 2400G. It's uh, $199.99. So, to me, that's like a no-brainer, because I was going to put in a 2400, uh, sorry, a 1400, and then get a video card and put it in there and just try to make the thing under a thousand dollars. But I looked at this and I went, well, this makes way more sense right now because you can get in really cheap and uh, get something good and then just add your video card later. And, and like I say, you've got a light gaming system, like right out of the box type thing. Now, uh, the motherboard I picked was an MSI B350M Pro dash vdh and uh, reason why i picked that one is because i have one and i've been using it for uh, a little bit longer than my um channel's been up been up uh, i use it in my den so i use it all the time i use it actually more than i use the uh, studio computer and it works great uh hadn't had any problems with it um, I ran a 1400 and the 1400G in it, so I know it's perfectly fine for that. And I watched the, um, uh, what do you call them, the thermals on it and all that stuff and whatnot. And like I say, everything seems to be great. And all you need yourself is a good case, so it's a good, good, good airflow. And then you don't have such a, you don't have to worry about uh, it like, uh, getting up there in heat and stuff and whatnot. Now, the RAM um, I picked was uh, the Kingston HyperX Fury 2666 megahertz, and it's a 2 times 4 gig um, sticks. Now, the uh, reason why I picked that one is because I have those, and all I did was up the voltage to, uh, like the, the, uh, uh, RAM voltage 
or memory voltage up to 1.4 volts instead of 1.35 or 1.2 and I'm running it at 2933 uh, megahertz right now so like I mean that's pretty darn good and the uh, you may not be able to get up that high but you should be able to get at least 2800 which like I say, every step up that you you go up, you spend more money for the RAM. And this is only $124.99 uh, Canadian for that. And like I said before, all these prices are Canadian and they're all on Amazon Canada. But I will put the prices of, uh, or in links, not the prices, but the links for the uh, Amazon Canada and Amazon US uh, in the show notes so that uh, you'll be able to check them out there. Now, uh, the case I picked was a Vivo Micro ATX Smart V06 mid-tower case, $48.99. Now, the reason why I picked that one was because it comes with the two fans in the front. And most of the time, that's all you need. And it's a mesh front. So, you actually don't even have to buy any filters for it. You've got a mesh front on the front. You get two fans on the front. I think they're blue but i'm not positive i remember them shining a color but I, th I think it was blue i looked at it this morning so can't quite remember but like i said i'm pretty sure it's blue and uh and like i say um it's got uh places for fans on the top and a fan on the back so i think you can get uh i think it's five 120 uh, millimeter fans in there and it comes with the two front ones so maybe an exhaust fan or maybe do what I did and get one of those uh, uh, cooler master master liquid um, AIOs uh, the 120s and uh, I think I got it for I think it was around $70 and it comes with two fans uh, in the push-pull configuration, and I just used it as my exhaust fan. So, and it's sitting on the side, and that's what I actually have in my studio computer. The uh, the the Deep Cool Captain EX uh, 240 or 240X is not in there because it does not cool the CPU as well as the uh, as the master uh, liquid one does. So I'm going to go with the best one that I have for for cooling. And like I say, it's the much lesser expensive one, but it cools better, so that's fine. Uh, with this one on the system, uh, I just put in the, uh, just use the uh, cooler that uh, comes with the uh, CPU because it is a good cooler. And you can always put something in. Uh, you can put the AIO later if you want. If you find that uh, it's running too hot or something like that, why not? It's just something to do. Or you can get one of those, one of those style. Um, what is that? A thermal take contact silent twelve CPU cooler because I had that in there for a while. And there's the hyper. What was it called? Hyper Evo. 212 I think if I'm not mistaken that's was that's a, I guess that was the standard one at the time uh, and people have been copying it and I guess that's thermal takes version of that one so uh, you can always do that too um, like I say that's a good cooler too for air but not as good as the liquid one that, uh, that I bought but of course that's way cheaper that's only like about twenty four dollars twenty five dollars well 24 to 30 dollars for that one i'm rambling sorry uh, i'll get back to this um the uh power supply is a evga 600 watt bronze plus i know a little bit overkill but that's okay because it's the least expensive one that they have right now in a bronze 80 plus and it's only 59.99 canadian the 450 the 500 the 550 were all more expensive, so why not? These one 
is uh, it's not modular. All the cables are attached, but in that case, there's lots of room where you'll be able to uh, put the cables so that you can uh, do some good uh, cable management. So I, I checked that out there too. So that's good. Uh, I also put in a 120 gigabyte SSD drive and um, it's a Kingston. It's the uh, UV 400. That's the one higher than the A400, uh, which I was using before. Uh, but they're both the same price. They're forty-four ninety-nine uh, right now. So, uh, so like I say, that's and there's lots of room for Windows on there, and uh, a f and a couple of programs. Um, but uh, I also put in a standard, which is a one terabyte Western Digital Blue, seventy-two hundred RPM uh, hard disk drive in there. And you can put all your games on there. So that's not bad. And then I also put in Windows 10 Pro. Um, it's $19 right now on Amazon. And it is a it is a Prime, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, so you know it's trustworthy. And like I said, it's only $19 free shipping. So I added that in. And the total price came to $645.92. So that's everything that you need, including dual channel RAM, because you're getting your two sticks. So it'll go into, into dual channel mode, makes it a little bit faster. You can upgrade the memory, uh, sorry, uh, overclock the memory a little bit to either maybe 2800 or 2933. Uh, you can overclock the CPU. So if you want it a little bit faster, you can make it a little bit faster if you want. And to, um, to make it a really good gaming computer, all you need to do is put in um, GTX 1070, maybe 1070 Ti. And the prices come down. Or uh, GTX 1060 6 gigabyte. They're better than the 3 gigabyte versions. But if that's all you can afford, then get that. It still is way better than what comes with the 400G, the uh, Vega 11 that's built in there. So, like I say, it's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good little system for 645 and I will find a inexpensive um, keyboard and mouse and I'll put that in the show notes and an inexpensive IPS monitor 24 27 inch and I'll put that in the show notes also uh, so that if you need that uh, the price the prices and everything will be there too so that you can at least have a look to see if maybe that's what you want um, a lot of people just uh, use their TV now. That's all I'm doing. And uh, and then I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse. Uh, and then I just sit in my chair and I can do everything from there. And you can get a gaming mouse if you want to, which makes the gaming a little bit better. And even those uh, gaming pads. Anyway, that's pretty much all that I have for today. Um, if you liked uh, the uh, video, please uh, hit thumbs up. And if you didn't, uh, just hit the thumbs down. Uh, if you uh, like the content, uh, please uh, subscribe. And uh, if you want announcements, you have to hit the bell. Uh, if you don't, just don't hit the bell. And uh, I do want to wish everybody a wonderful week. Thank you very much for watching and listening. And I will have a new video up Wednesday also. This is just an extra one.